Hi, and welcome to this PractiTest test automation help video. In this video, we will review the option to add your CI-CD results to PractiTest using the Firecracker tool. Firecracker will let you convert XML files to actual test results in PractiTest, including all fields and parameters automatically. A few things to prepare in advance. Create an API token. We recommend using a personal API token that should be enabled by account owner and then generated in per personal settings. Create test custom fields that will match your fields in the test results you get from your CI CD tool. For example, if you have a field called class name in your automated tests, map it with a practice test, test custom field. This way, you will be able to see the equivalent of your automated tests in PractiTests reports and dashboard graphs. Make sure you have Java installed on your machine. To start the process, go to firecrackerui.prod.practitest.com. At the top bar, choose the server location of your account, EU or US, and log in using your PractiTest credentials. Upload the XML file you received from your CI-CD tool. In the standard parsing results table, you can see a sample of how the XML test cases will map into tests in PractiTest, where each row represents a PractiTest test. You have a few ways to dispense your XML tests in PractiTest. The XML test cases can be imported to PractiTest as multiple tests with a single step for each, or to one practice test test with multiple steps. By checking the group test cases option, practice test will group the XML test cases that have the same class name ending into one practice test test, where each XML test case will become a step. If you uncheck the group test cases option, each XML test case will become a test with a single step in PractiTest. The XML test cases can be imported into one PractiTest test set or as multiple test sets. By default, all test cases will be imported to one test set in PractiTest. If you wish to import the test cases into multiple test sets based on the suite name Attribute, check the multi-test set. Insert your API token. Press the button next to it and choose the project you want to report the results to. Give a name to the PractiTest test set to which all your tests will be imported, unless you ticked the multi-test set option. Use the first two rows of the table to define the test and the step name in PractiTest. By default, the test name will be based on the class name field and the step name will be based on the name field of the test case. You can choose a different XML field to base your test and step names and use the function column to define the modification you want to apply on the XML field you choose in order to receive the desired result in PractiTest. You can match and modify XML fields to the PractiTest field they will report to. Add a new row for each field modification. Use the function column to define the modification you want to apply on the XML field result to receive the desired result in PractiTest. You will see an example of the original value under the original value column. This example is taken from the XML test that is in row 1 in the top table. If I change to row 2, I will see the value of this field in the test results from row 2 in the top table. Let's choose the class name field in the XML, but this time we'll match it to two pre-prepared custom fields in PractiTest as follows. Area and Test For the area field in PractiTest, we want to populate only the information after the first dot and up to the next dot, 
We will insert the correct function to match what we need and we can see the results that will appear in the area field in practice test under the result example column. In the same way, we will match the class name field to the test field in practice test using a suitable function that can be adjusted in the function column. We can also use the function field for static values. For example, I can decide that I want tests in this run to have a field with a project name in them. I will choose the project field I have in practice test, and in the function column, I will insert the name of my project. This way, I will later be able to filter these tests from other tests by their project name. By defining and organizing the practice test fields values received from the XML, we will later on be able to filter and present the results based on those fields in practice test dashboard and reports. After matching the values of the fields, click down on configuration. In case you need to map more fields or to change the project you are sending results to, you can always upload the configuration file to the Firecracker UI mode modify it and download an updated version. To check the configuration, create a folder that will include a folder with your XML files, the JSON file you just downloaded from the Firecracker, and the Firecracker jar file that can be downloaded from the link in the help page. Run the command found in the help page with the correct parameters for folder name, file name, and user ID. You can run this in any shell. Now check and you will see your XML results in practice test. Use the fields you configured in Firecracker and filter your data accordingly to create valuable dashboard items and reports that will give you better insights for your project. In order to automate the Firecracker procedure, write a script that will download new XML files into your de dedicated folder. Remove old files and run the command. This way, every time you get a new build and result files, they will automatically be uploaded into Practitest. Check out the next Firecracker help video to learn how to automate the Firecracker procedure.